Mithani, probably by their own standards on the console basis, didn't have the best of quarters. A lot of factors go behind a company which actually manufactures super alloys, titanium, etc. Uh, Mr. S.K. Jha, Chairman and MD of Midani, joins us right now on the show to talk about uh, what Outlook FI25 could be like. Uh, Mr. Jha, good morning. Thanks so much for taking the time out. This is Neera Jha. Good morning. By your own standards, sir, uh, was the operational number a bit of a disappointment in quarter four? Uh, and, and, and while there could be vagaries in what happens in a particular quarter, how do you look at the numbers uh, from a from a YOY perspective, because when I look at the consolidated numbers on a YOY basis, uh, the operational metrics came off even as the top line numbers had grown. Yeah, in fact, uh, if you see our uh, main focus in this current financial year, the last financial year was mainly to reduce our uh, inventory and WIP. So in this process, normally uh, in the last quarter, you might have seen that our value of production has uh, gone down slightly. However, we have achieved the highest ever uh, sales in this quarter. And that has also given the better performance in terms of our uh, uh, rate of return also. And also we have got uh, a good uh, reduction in our inventory. In fact, from the last financial to this financial year, the current financial year that 23-24, uh, uh, almost uh, we have reduced our inventory level of uh, uh, almost by uh, it has come to uh, one fourth I say from that piece to that. But that has really helped the uh, the company to get the uh, clear and reduce our inventory. And in fact, it was also the one of the concerns we had that our uh, uh, our uh, uh, that number of uh, days which we can keep our uh, that working capital engaged has to be reduced and that was the main challenge uh, and we have uh, almost we have uh, got uh, good success in this area and uh, this will be giving the better output or better result in the coming in this current financial year because the uh, the fy 23 24 and the pressure of in fact uh, the raw metal prices were very high so we had the two, uh, the problem was that how to cut down the, our consumption of the raw material. So that was the main reason for keeping that. We should not keep the more inventory. And also we had another challenge that how we can uh, uh, improve our operational capability to maintain uh, the, our uh, profit. So these are the, uh, I think, few challenges we have faced. Uh, but uh, if you see the sales turnover has uh, crossed 1,000 crores this year. I think this is a, a very good, I say, the achievement for the company. Company has uh, the sales turnover growth of 23% this year. And that is going to be a good uh, uh, advantage in the coming uh, finance, this current financial year also. And uh, it is also giving the good uh, path for the company to grow. And as we have seen that lot of uh, capex we have infused in the uh, last four or five years. So that return also, we are expecting that it will be coming for the company in the coming uh, uh, days. And uh, I overall, I see that uh, the impact of the raw metal price will get uh, stabilized in this current financial year. And also since our uh, production of high value item, super alloys production has gone up. Right, Mr. Fact, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, yeah. Danny, just a very quick uh, question, Mr. Jha. Uh, we understand that raw material prices is why your margins have been impacted quite substantially in the financial year gone by. Uh, but as we look ahead, do you anticipate improved operational efficiency, um, potentially raw potential raw material cost decline, or maybe a hedge on that? Would that help margins back up to levels of 25, 26? Is that a fair assumption? Because that's what it used to be historically, right? Yeah, in fact, the margin which we have seen earlier, uh, because of mainly we had uh, advantage of getting uh, the orders coming from on nomination basis. And that numbers are going to uh, reduce as we are going for more competitive bidding and more competitive uh, orders. So I... My, object, my expectation is that in the coming days, the margin which we have got this year from this, this uh, like 23, 24, 24, 25 will be the better performance because of the mainly because of two reasons. First, that we'll be uh, getting that uh, raw metal prices will get stabilized. 
And second part is that we are going to produce the high value item that is super alloys production has gone up in the uh, from the this, this year also it is expected to increase. Titanium alloy also will going to increase. So those two high end products are going to contribute in the for the higher return. Once we are seeing that uh, the once we will be closing this this financial year that uh, FY 24-25. Mr. Ja, uh, uh, <clears throat> what do you reckon would be the biggest impact on near term business momentum and maybe pricing and volumes? Because uh, one is of course the domestic opportunity that stays for companies, uh, but two is also the China factor and which impacts both sentiment as well as demand uh, per se for supercritical metals, alloys as well as basic metals. So to your, uh, can, can you just explain that? Because a lot of people might be wanting to know how big an impact would the economic outlook of China have on, on businesses in general and in Midani in particular. So as far as our uh, uh, business uh, with respect to China is concerned, uh, we are not depending on the Chinese market. So my product is going mainly for the domestic requirements, which is coming from aerospace, defense, and nuclear, and, and, and any other strategic areas. So you might have seen that as the defense requirement is going up, aerospace also requirement is going up. And at the same time, we also have uh, the possibility of uh, doing the export with the different countries. Now we have, and our product has reached to the, uh, to the level of uh, many European countries. Also, we have uh, got a very good presence uh, and um, in in terms of uh, Middle East also. So I see the possibility of uh, our business will be improving in the coming days uh, because of these reasons. Now, only depending on the China factory, the raw material which is getting from the China. But we had our uh, raw material has not depending, we are not depending on the China. Our sources are different. So I don't see that that impact is going to Effect as far as the Midhani is concerned. So that way, we are not seeing any uh, uh, reason for that. And it has been already seen this year also, we have got a lot of uh, uh, export has gone up almost three times. If you see from the last financial year, that is from 22, 23, 23, 24, we had almost uh, three times. And now we have a very uh, good order, uh, order book position from the export and uh, indications are very good. So I feel that uh, that area is also going to give a good support to the company. So the growth wise, I am not seeing depending on the impact which is we are seeing from the China. So this is what my observation as of now. But again, uh, you know that global scenario and all is very uh, dynamic in nature. So it will be uh, seen as we progress. But as of now, I see that Midhani has uh, a very stable uh, outlook for the coming uh, uh, current financial year. Okay, just one final question, Mr. Ja. Uh, now, with the increased focus on defense, aerospace, etc., could the volatility in operational metrics change or uh, because of the nature of the business, the volatility might stay and people should look at it annually? Because, and quite frankly, when I look at it annually as well, FY24 or FY23 has been a big drop. So, even that argument may not necessarily hold true about the volatility, but just trying to understand if the end product change and focus on defense and aerospace uh, mitigates that to an extent. Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to explain about uh, the operational part. Mm. Uh, we are, our main focus uh, uh, has been shifting towards that whatever we are able to produce, we should able to convert into the cells as quickly as possible. This has been the now uh, the requirement for the, uh, we have made our plan accordingly. So as if our cells are going to increase, definitely we are going to have them better operational uh, possibility also. And by addition of certain facilities now, the operational uh, uh, constraints we are overcoming. And I am saying that uh, that part is going to overcome as we progress in the coming uh, months uh, from the current uh, financial year. So that we'll see in terms of the performance. Now, uh, the growth of uh, uh, the shifting of the product from one segment to another segment which normally earlier, if you see my maximum business uh, used to be in the space. Now it has uh, gone to the defense. So the Midhani, the one advantage is that the many uh, materials which have been used for the space 
or also have uh, also the also finds application in the area of defense as well as some part in the other that the nuclear and the other strategic sectors so there is a lot of uh, common uh, uh, like the facility which it lies which use for this type of products are common in nature so i feel that those things are not going to impact only thing is that you should have a quick uh, uh, like uh, a mechanism to uh, to make your technology and your knowledge based for diversification so that base is the very well uh, placed in our company because we are a very almost uh, 50 year plus so our technology and everything is very robust so that way we are able to quickly uh, uh, change our product profile or product portfolio in the very short span of time and it has been reflected in the fy 23-24 also many uh, uh, grades of alloys we have developed in the same year and also we have done the export also we have made for the domestic industry so that type of uh, uh, like flexibility is there in our operation and i think that is uh, i think one of the uh, biggest strength uh, which pidhani is having in terms of his product portfolio and capability okay uh, mr jab 15 second answer quantum because we are out of time completely so just 15 seconds please but are targets or guidance for FY25 out? Yeah, yeah, we have already, uh, we have our target uh, already fixed. So what's the number, and, sir? Uh, uh, growth number and for we are FY25? Expecting almost, uh, we are trying to have the same, uh, almost 25% growth in uh, this year also. Okay. This is okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we wish you all the best for that. Uh, and thanks so much for joining in, sir, and giving us your views. All the best for the year ahead. Thank you.